another toast to the Stardust Hunters. Huzzah! Huzzah! A uh, toast! Hello, everyone. I am Rado. I am Leo. I am Legend. And Leo's in control, and we are going to go ahead and level up now. I have no affiliation with the uh, Will Smith movie. So, we're going to get two levels, one bigger and one dexterity. Sounds good to me. Sounds good to me. Let's do this. Because we want to get those stats up as fast as possible. We've also leveled our attunement, uh, intelligence, and intelligence and faith a little bit uh, since the last episode. Yep. Our uh, Go ahead and show our character stats so I can show which one, which stats have, are fully ma maxed out for the Let's Play. Yeah, sure. Okay, so our attunement is maxed out. Our vitality, strength, intelligence, and luck are done with. The only things we're touching now are vigor, endurance, dex, and faith. Alrighty then. We're gonna get all handsy with this. Oh, indeed. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just equip uh, this. No, it actually will put us over the weight limit. Yeah, um, so... switch to this will be fine. No, it will not. You need to drop a ring. Actually, I know what we need to go do. What? Uh, go see our good friend, the uh, Pyromancer. The Pyromancer? Yes. Yes. The Pyromancer is back. Oh, yeah. And he actually has a gear that I want to get. I wish for two. All right. But first... First, we get a pyromancy flame, which technically we could use. <laughs> technically, we could, because we do have a little bit of science. That, but more importantly, we're the getting the science. Best, we're getting the best headgear in the game. It's nice yeah. if you've got a good wife and face, and that you don't want to see, you know, covered up in an iron mask. Well, why don't we show off our lovely lady? It's nice, and it's light, so you can wear the good stuff. Yep. Yes. And don't forget to talk to our other friend. Our other friend, down, other way. Oh, right, we need to check on him. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, maybe he took a little, oh, dear. Heavens, she was already dead. Eh, he's grieving. Aw. I have the idea that Loretta was either, like, a family member or just someone he really cared about. Absolutely. I kind of th imagine her as, like, the village elder, who was like a big, who was a big old grandma to him, and was trying to get him to get on the straight and narrow. But, but he's too much of a thief. But his thieving ways were just too much for him to handle. And yeah. by the time she came back, well, lore-wise, Aldrich had her had his way with the entire region. Pretty much, because the fat bitches that we keep running into are Aldrich's evangelicals. Yeah. And uh, that is a little more kinky than a lot of people are willing to handle. <laughs> Back to the suicide cliff. Do not summon a crazed hollow. <laughs> oh, that's just cute. Anyway, we will be finding out what that is in a... Well, we've already seen it, but we will find out the origin of that in a hot second. You're just blasting through them, huh? Yep. Did you update the uh, claim more? No. no, I didn't. Uh, I no, didn't. still level one. I haven't touched the claim more. Mainly yeah, because we, we have limited uh, sh uh, limited shards, shards right now. I was grinding on Lothric Knights, and even then, they weren't dropping that many. Yeah, they kind of have a low drop rate, even. Uh, Technically, you could roll off right here. Yeah, I know. I was planning to, but I didn't get it right. Ooh. Anyway, I'm going to go down a way that Legend did not go earlier. You might see why in a few moments. Yes. But first... If you want my best recommendation, go through the building down. first. Go through what? Go through the building first. Do not go that way yet. Kill everything all the way through and see if you can lure some of the fuckers down. And notice I said some. That's about five or six of them up there. Oh, wait. Worker gloves. I'm gonna sell all this shit. Anything that we get a copy of, I'm selling. Bang, bang, Maxwell, dead. Well, I don't see a hammer around here, but I suppose Sorry. it worked. That's, that's a, whenever I use the super move in for Monster Hunter World uh, for the hammer, I just, it's just, it goes perfectly to the beat of bang, bang, Maxwell's hammer. <laughs> yeah, there it is. Oh, well, yeah. That's yeah. one less you'll have to fuck with. All right. And I, I, after, I mean, after the first couple of tries, I did get the hang of that area to where I can do it now without that. On your right. So look around there. All right. 
Oh, we missed this. Yep. So, poo poo on legend for missing that. Poo poo on legend for spotting it on the way back. Haha. <laughs> okay. Okay. Got a whole bunch of these gray rat motherfuckers. Nah, gray rat's nice. These guys are thralls. They're slaves! To something. Probably Aldrich. Well, given the fact that we see them at uh, Aldrich's keep later on. Yep. Yeah, it makes sense. Nope. Find your six, there you go. And then there's that one right there. All of these fuckers are all over the place. I should note that these things are you probably. Know what? You know what? I'll say this. They're better than the fuckers in Blight Town. No. No, they're not. Well, These guys are faster, and they are everywhere! Well, they don't give you toxic. No, but they don't sit still. Anyway, here's a fun little secret people were confused by earlier on. Another Nana disappeared. So grand and cow is a cage. He ever has his cage. And Nana's never coming back. So come into the cage and become Nana's shade. I have a feeling this has to deal with a character we're going to meet later on. We already it's met him. It's going to be with the character we're about to meet again now. Ooh, he has an item. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, well, that's okay. I, I ain't complaining on that. So. I'm not complaining. No, he wanted the troll hats. Well, there's the troll hat. And I wanted also the, the thrall axe. So. Yeah, that axe is the base. Whoa, didn't, didn't they... Didn't they uh, patch all the things you could do with that out already? Nope. No? Nope. Nope. Anyway, two homeward bone axes, which is important. Hey, look. A dead end. Not quite. Ow. Well, I don't know. It doesn't look like there's any place you can walk out of here with. Oh my gosh, it's an enemy. No. He doesn't. Well, he does not give two fat, two fat fucks about this. Hey, can you give me a lift? Oh, okay. I've been working on the railroad all the live This long is. Day. What the hell am I doing? What? Well, I'm not exactly right in the head. Maybe I'll meet other people like me. Maybe they can help me. <laughs> this. This is madness! This is Sparta. This is Dark Souls. This is better than Southwest Airlines. <laughs> Come on. Southwest Airlines I'm sorry, is Delta. Good. I'm sorry, Delta. There you don't, we go. Never fly American. Never fly American. Ugh. No, it's Delta. Delta's the one you don't fly. No. No. <clears throat> no, I've flown American before. Delta's the one you don't want to fly. Well, I've heard a lot of shade thrown at American Airlines. Everyone, gets, they, everyone, everyone gets, gets shade shaded. thrown at them. Anyway, there's no way out of here. Yeah, Traditionally. Some more than others. Conventionally. But oh, we'll be coming back here later, but... Oh, look, it's Holy Knight Hodrick. I don't know that yet. We fought him. I know, but I'm just saying, we haven't talked to him yet. Hello. What's up? This pit is for hollows, not for the likes of you, Zane. What do you mean, Zane? I have three voices in my head, and we're all freaking perverts. Yeah, you two are. I'm trying to be wholesome on this Christian... <laughs> 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 yes, we are crazy. <laughs> yes, yes. Then we are just fine. It's important to know who you are. But we'll all be okay. okay, that really got to me. <laughs> God damn <laughs> Okay. On your heart if you feel sanity is slipping. Sanity? What the hell is that? Sounds contagious. Come I don't want it. No, no. Yeah. Oh, so, the Mound Makers. The, the innovative the, the innovative covenant of Dark Souls 3. Innovative in 20 quotation marks and, in five, and about five asterisks. Now, the funny thing is, it was innovative in a way that a lot of invaders actually enjoyed. It had this sort of give and take to it. On the other hand, 
and for the everyone bitched about it so much that they had to turn it into every single other freaking covenant in the game. Things to do. Mm. So the thing about about uh, about the Mount Maker's Covenant, which are the purple summon signs, uh, these guys can either help you out by killing enemies or kill you. Yep, and well, they and they get their covenant item either way. Well, they only get their covenant item if they kill either the host or one of their summons, and then they fuck off. They cannot, They're mainly there to thin the herd. They can't help with bosses anymore. Anymore. Note that they used to be able to do that, and it's one of the reasons why they were so cool. But it led to an unusual caveat that everyone simply enjoyed as a boss invasions. And the thing was, you could still attack the boss. The boss, you were basically a third party that would attack either the host or the boss, whatever. But, but it was just so much easier to kill the opponent. Yeah. Or kill the summoner. Legend has used the Moundmaker's Covenant to help me, like, learn how to use moves and stuff. He would act as, like... The test dummy? A, either, yeah, a test dummy, or I would test stuff on him, or vice versa. Mm -hmm. I had a lot of love for the Moundmaker's Covenant. And I should also note that you don't get the I'm gonna help you summon unless you put down a white sign. If yeah. you put down a red sign... You're just a regular old purple invader. Yes. yes. So, what are you doing? I'm just clearing these guys out first. Why? It, you used the bonfire. It's someone else's turn now. No, well, you didn't use the bonfire yet, technically. Uh, again, that's what, that's what I was saying. Okay. And anyway, I was letting you guys finish up your story before I go ahead and I switch off the legend. Hey. All right, I think we need to go to the other bonfire now. I yes, the, to, to the dilapidated bridge. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now... After what we did in the last episode, talking to the giant and saying, You're a jolly good fella. I help any time. Now he will. Yeah. He will no longer shoot at us, and he will what, shoot at anything and, around and us. And what became one of the worst areas of the game is now one of the easier ones. Yep. Yeah. If we get invaded here, the invaders are going to get shot. Well, not just the invaders, but the horde of enemies waiting for us ahead. Yep. yep. So, first off, we're going to go ahead and take care of this machete-wielding motherfucker. Hello. Do you want to play? All right. Boom, 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 and a little out of range there. Okay, I'm hyper aggressive with these guys, and you're taking it easy. And even then, he's still giving us crap. Oh, there here's we done. go. Rubbish. rubbish! We have two rubbishes. Rubbish eye? The plural of rubbish is... Pl uh, the, plural the, plural, rubbish. the plural of rubbish is rubbish! So Emphasis on the R's! It's like, it's like moose. You, <laughs> you have one moose, two moose. Red moose, blue moose. Hello! Wouldn't it be nice if that's the time he actually, actually misses and shoots him, right? <laughs> oh. Anyway, all this loot. Since uh, since the giant is now friendly, we can now collect all this treasure at our leisure. Mm -hmm. Young white branches, which give you the chameleon soul, the uh, chameleon spell. Well, they are like one use chameleon spells. Mm -hmm. And you can't really buy them for your inventory, so oh, I can sort that dude's pants. Reinforce club. Also, you okay. Jump, you gotta jump the gap. Yep. Don't worry, it's Dark Souls 2, Jump. Yeah. Thank goodness for that. Undead Bone Shy, which we will use to upgrade our Estus Flask. Yay, more Heelys. Undead Bone Hard. Bone Hard. Bones Hard. Yeah. Anyway, right. we gotta go up here, and there's gonna be a few... There's some treasure! Treasure, treasure! treasure. Thank you, Lindy Beige. Who? Uh, Lindy Beige is a uh, YouTube content creator. Hello. Uh, he's absolutely one of the most British people I've ever seen on the internet. I don't know. I don't know. I've met Artemis Wishfoot, and he's literally a tree dr uh, tea drinking Brit. T Total Biscuit, rest his soul, was also a, a well known Brit. Ah, uh, rest his soul indeed. Portition's Ashes. I wonder who would like that. Hmm. Bring her ash. Anyway, we gotta go through, uh... That's a nice ash. Ah! Uh, yes, your character was! Yes, your character was! 
Yes, she was. All right. A nice piece of ash. Okay, did we ever get rid of everyone? Yes. Oh, well. Did we? Have we thoroughly conjugated that joke out yet? Maybe. Have we, have well, we... I don't conjugate in public. What are you talking about? Ew, nasty. <laughs> All right, behind. And... Da, 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 da. There we go. There we go. Oh, give me my weapon. Yep, which you'll use the... on your turn. <laughs> Great sight. Anyway, let's go on up here. I actually have a little bit of a story with the Mound Maker since we're in the area for it. So I decided once upon a time, by the bonfire, I was going to summon a Mound Maker. And it turned out he was a white summon. Right. So he and I actually managed to co-op all the way through this area, killing all the enemies together, helping each other out, until we reached this spot right here. Yeah. That, in, right right here, was the boss door. And I'm going to go ahead and open this up so yeah. I can continue the story. My door was also open in this area. And when we managed to reach here, reach this point, I bowed to him, he bowed to me, and at that moment our friendship was over. And we were there to fight to the death. <laughs> From the best man winning to go on to fight the boss. Which he, you assume proceededly went to do after he kicked your ass. Well, he never actually did. He did not actually kick my ass. The Mound Maker and I fought fairly, no Estes, all the way to the very bitter end when a red invader showed up and stabbed me in the ass. <laughs> 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 and the Mound Maker <laughs> fell to his knees and went, No! <laughs> all right, before we do anything, you might want to put in some, uh, I think we got some charcoal pine resin. I think I'm good. All right. All right. This I is, mean, this is, yeah. this, this is, is an this interesting is, fight. This is one of my least favorite fights in this fucking game. Yeah, and, but I have to admit, the area looks pretty cool. I mean, I will, yeah, it was one of the first scenes we saw of this game, I, and I, I thought it was impressive. I will put it this way: it's a better puzzle boss than Bed of Chaos. It's an actual puzzle boss. It's a better puzzle boss than the actual puzzle boss of this game. Yeah. Does yeah. he actually have to fight it? And I don't know why you're bothering with these guys, because... Okay, there we go. First round, wait. Curse Rotted Great Wood. Curse Potted Wait Wood? Curse Rotted Great Wood. I have to speak in a Scottish accent for this. Oh, dear. Great Scott. This tree's entire need us in toilet paper. Especially because it's going to piss itself in a little bit, laddie. Um, what is it doing? It yeah, hopped. It hopped. You haven't seen that attack before? Uh, I have no idea what you're doing, Legend, other than... The ads will spawn indefinitely. Yeah. Yeah, but I'm letting him, like, mow them down a little bit so I have less to fuck with. Alright! I usually don't bother, but go ahead and hit the ball sack. Now, of course, one of the benefits to having a larger weapon like Claymore is that you can hit some of the out-of-place uh, plus tools, because that counts for HP. Yep. I look at hand, you son of a bitch. There we go. Alright. That's one. Hushel's there. There. That's two. That's another one. You can get the one on the inner thigh right there. Nope, that one won't appear until later. Okay, here comes his... No, that's leading forward. He's leading forward. Okay, time to get out of the way. Yes! Woo! I yeah. heard Ray Rose a little bit. Yeah, you weren't... The acid I... diarrhea will cause residual damage. And I think weapon degradation? Weapon degradation more than damage. It doesn't really do that much weapon degradation. Well, unless you happen to be an ancient user. Yeah. Under but... which case I pity you. Yeah. This boss is just annoying in the fact that you have to find where his fucking pustules are. Well, assuming you don't go for the big ball sack right in front right away. Yeah. Uh, yeah okay. They're just going to keep coming, Legend. I know, but I'm trying to reposition so I don't end up getting pinned in a corner. And like, yes, I know. I feel like this is a boss that punishes being strategic, actually. Yeah, it does. Because you're trying to do something... And then it's going to either does wide swinging attacks that make it impossible for you to get in, or summons ads. Yeah, which is complete and utter ash lock. Let's 
so... There we go. Now, if only you could hit those pustules in there, but... You can, but not at this stage. They're actually stage two pustules. So... So there you go. Now take a drink. And then take a seat. Am well, I actually going to do this? Yep. Bye! Now all the NPCs are dead, and there's a hand coming out of that. Oh, oh great, it's a WWE storyline. A hand? Yes, a lady giving birth to a hand. What? Yeah. An octogenarian oh, lady. He's not done. He's not done. An octogenarian lady giving birth to a hand. Ew. Yes. Because she had sex with a black man. What the fuck are we talking about? WWE plot lines, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, so. And it's gonna do. This. Okay, I thought it was gonna do swipe. It's not done yet. Okay, so there are some more pustules on his back. Yes, there are. Problem is. Hitting them. Well, hitting them without taking damage is probably because he likes to do that pass crash thing. Other thing he'll do is he'll lean back to try and squash you. But uh, at this point, it's just really a matter of dying. There you go. Well, it got him. We got results. Wahoo. Yep. And we got the most important item for the future of this Let's Play. Yeah. The transposing kill. Yeah. So... Yep, yep. So, a couple of li little minor things I'm just going to show off before we go. Look at him. He's dead. He's pancaked. <laughs> uh, suck it. Suck it, you son of a bitch. All right. Light the bonfire and pass the torch. Thank you, because I am going to be sitting down and going back to the shrine. Yep, because we actually haven't talked to someone at the shrine yet. Yeah, we kind of glossed over him. We, but... never, we never even mentioned him. Nope. Kind of ignore him until we need him. Yeah, yeah. Because he's so small and insignificant until that point. Yes. He's the reason we are not taking on five bosses, but four. Yep. So hopefully you could hear that. But anyway, there's actually a Lord of Cinder in one of these thrones. Yes. Meet Budleth. All that unkindled. And a seeker of lords. Yes, I am. I am Ludleth of Corland. Never heard of that country. Look Must be a tiny, insignificant land, much like him. Really? You guys are, you guys are giving the cripple short jokes? <laughs> well, I, you, I'm not making fun of him because he's a cripple. I'm making fun of him because he's a cowardly cripple. The only reason this fucker didn't run like the other lords did is because they broke his legs before he could try. <laughs> I mean, pretty much, and I don't even know what kind of boss he'd even be. I mean, don't believe his words. He is a he is a cowardly little fucker. And you can actually kill him, and he'll come back, and he'll still be a cowardly little fucker. No. I used to think that his big talk at the beginning went like, "Yes, even though I'm small and tiny, I, I did be a Lord of Cinder, and I did save the world." More like you were the bare minimum of a Lord of Cinder. But mm. anyway, we're going to begin transposition. First off, so, we. By trading in boss souls to him, you can get awesome new boss items. First instance, with Vort's ring, you can either with Vort's soul you can either get the Pontiff's left eye or Vort's great hammer. Since we're a Dex user, we're not going for the hammer. Yep, we're going for this left eye, and from the Cursed Rod Greatwood soul, we could either get the Hollow Slayer Great Sword, which is a decent Dex weapon, though probably not one that I'm going to invest in, or the Arster's Spear. Which is an interesting weapon, but it's kind of gimmicky at best. Or you could do neither of these things and, and simply eat it yourself. Bingo, which is what I'm going to be doing. But it looks funky. It does look funky. I have made it before. It's Chris Ryan of Greatwood. What do, you, what, what do you expect? It's going to taste like like poor bark. Poor bark? I think it tastes like pus. Anyway, yeah, the soul looks really Ancient funky. pus. Used to cry ever since the establishment its establishment, all manner of curses have managed to seep into the undead settlement. The worst of them were sealed away inside a spirit tree, but eventually the curses took their toll. To remind those of, of, of Dark Souls lore, curses can never be 
brush uh, absolved away. They can only be transferred to another person or another being. Yep. So everyone dumped their curses into the spirit tree until it became what we saw earlier. Anyway, I'm giving her the mortician's ashes Ashes. next. That's a fine match. Yep. And with that, we can purchase more stuff. She'll have more... more, uh, Key! The grave key, which we'll need. Where's the key? Where's the key? Where's the beautiful key? Find the key, find the key. Oh, how happy we'll be. I think that was... Where is that from? You we, know need, we need a uh, torch. I already, I, mean, I yeah. already bought a torch. Okay, good. We're hot off the heels of our Disney Let's Play. Okay, I just have not seen that. Uh, that that that. Uh, yeah, we do we need, need to get the tower key. We almost have enough souls, but I'll get it at another time. Not enough. Nope. Welcome. Instead, we will level up again. All right. Let's see. Can we do two? We should be able to do two. Yes, we can. So vigor and dex. Alrighty then. Alright, so... In the next episode, it is time for us to do our nightly duty and rescue a damsel in distress. Yep. And with, zero start. With Leo starting. Wait! I mean, oh, right. come on. It, oh, right, I forgot. Just, you, have, you haven't actually he, had a turn. He just beat the boss, and you want to give me... <laughs> I was expecting it to be my turn. Play right? nice, children. In, in, in the next episode, Zero goes and has his day out with a girl. Later, guys. Thank you.